Hello there, in the duration of this video, my primary focus will be to showcase an illustrative example. I aim to demonstrate how multiple team members engage and collaborate through the utilization of a virtual whiteboard. It is also important, so that you realize the potential of doing this to develop ideas. It's not just that you're taking notes or taking the minutes of a meeting. But the way of having this virtual whiteboard shared and in an interactive and dynamic way, makes that the team develops the ideas in more depth and in a different way than if we had other ways of working. Let's go through this step by step, I'm going to show you a video. This video is made with an application called Miro but you could use any of the many tools out there that allow you to do these things. It doesn't matter if it's Mural, it could be Explain Everything or Click App, it doesn't matter, whatever. There's a lot of tools for this, Almost all of them can do similar things and I'm going to show you how three people are working in a meeting. You see there are three pointers, one that's moving the most because it is the one doing task rapporteur. Then another person was editing things at the same time. And then a third person who was pretty much just watching or seeing. Or seeing by zooming in on things but not so much writing on the whiteboard. But while participating they were commenting on things because they were seeing how the others were evolving on this document. The minutes that I'm presenting to you, or the shared document is based on these sticky notes. With these colorful notes that you can move around, you can use another kind of format. This particular one was designed for this type of meeting, and it proved interesting as it facilitated a more dynamic development of ideas. Not in a linear format like a shared text with a bulleted list. So as you can see there's one person who's doing more of a rapporteur. Moving around, sorting and generating ideas and so on. But anybody can be editing. In fact at some point you can see that two people are editing and transforming the documents or the notes that they're posting around here. Each category has its color so things that are on the same thematic unit are labeled with the same color and this is done in a dynamic way because those interpretations that the team is giving are changing and some ideas are being reformulated. Or they are refining them by adding new ideas that come up related. Subsequently, the process involves linking these elements together or strategically positioning them on the map. This could include generating arrows or connections that provide context and coherence to the overall document or project. So you're seeing how it's evolving. I've put a few minutes live of how that three-person team meeting was going. What I'm going to show you in the next slide is the final result of the whole session and process. From how this more preliminary version of the document we're working became the final document that was being generated. I think what's important in all of this is not only the representation or the final aspect of the minutes document of the topics that were discussed but how the way of seeing on this board interactively, what's happening and how it's transforming helps the group to think differently or to create ideas or to develop ideas that are coming up. Sometimes as a cluster, sometimes as new developments that are being created as new ideas. That's the dynamic that I was interested in showing you. How to do this and even though we're remote, it allows the team interaction to be much more powerful and generate new ideas and work a little bit more dynamically. I think that you're starting to notice the advantages and potential of using a virtual whiteboard in your meetings as a tool for enhancing collaboration and engagement, and especially recognize the potential that it has, not just as a format to have a team minutes, but as a way of energizing the team's thinking.